What is up everybody, I'm Kubrick and I want to welcome you to another project of mine in which we are once more visiting the good old castle team. This is going to be another smaller project I am making, but I figure I will make a building series just so you can see how the build is coming along and what are the techniques I am using here. So without any further ado, let's see what is it going to be and what I have already prepared for you. And to start out let's talk about the team what the plan is and then check out the minifigures, few parts I have already ordered and the build progress itself. So the whole idea is to make a small castle diorama showing the medieval barracks using the new black falcons I got on bricks and pieces some time ago. The build will be strongly inspired by buildings from Age of Empires and other similar strategy games in which the buildings are all compact and based on the form of a small square. The mock will contain of a barracks building, a watchtower and a part of a wall marking a small exercise yard with an archery range and some other elements helpful for training the knights. I will show you a more in-depth sketch of what the build will look like in the later part of the video where I will talk about the current progress but now since we're talking about the knights let's see the squad that will be training here. And the first one we'll talk about is the commander that will be supervising the whole training with the help of his two trusted bodyguards. And yes, they are female cause I wanted to add some variety and I really like the idea of strong females in teams like this. Take a look at Brienne of Tarte from Game of Thrones for example. If she isn't badass, I don't know who is. Next in line are four heavy knights equipped with a heavy sword and a shield with those new armor pieces that came with the Ideas blacksmith set. These guys will be probably exercising somewhere around the courtyard or just chilling inside the barracks. To mend the walls and have someone defending the area, I made two pikemen equipped with shields and flat silver pikes, wearing new helmets that I've just received from Bricklink, but more about that in just a second. And in the middle of the build we'll have three archers that will be practicing their aim on the archery range. Here besides the obvious equipment that is the quiver on the back and the bow, they are wearing these old school hoods that have gotten black. Oh, and the bows are not your typical Lego bows, but instead I am once more using the ones I made from brown horns and a piece of string. You might have seen them in my mocks already, since I used them for the first time in my Siege of Bricks mock last year, and I have been a fan of those ever since. And that is the small black falcon army that I have gathered. Some will say that it's not so many figs, but for my needs and especially for this mock, it's more than enough. Ok, let's now jump to the bricks that I bought. Not many since I want to build this mock without investing too much money in it, but there were a few parts I just had to order like the helmets for the pikemen and the hoods for the archers that I didn't have. And since the seller had a few more interesting parts, I just had to stock up on a few brown ones. So here I got some whips, droid arms in dark brown, a couple of clips, and finally some reddish brown flex bars that will be super useful here. I also got a few window shutters that should look really good here, but I've just figured out that I don't have frames for those, so there will have to be at least one more order. Or I'll just disassemble the medieval blacksmith set from ideas. And last I got some stickers which are always useful when it comes to texturing, and a few parts for another project that will be coming later this year. Ok guys, now that we have that out of the way, let's check out the main reason why I even made this episode, the progress on the build itself. So the base plate is basically complete. I went freeform with a shape similar to my last build, so that both would fit nicely on my shelf. But since I like mixing different techniques, I wanted to make this freeform as varied as possible. So from one side I've outlined the bushes that will be covering the whole edge. This is of course not yet complete since I will be adding a couple more layers and covering this dark tan spot. I don't want the bushes too high though because I don't want it to be covering the archery range. As for the range itself, now it's just dark tan surrounded by grass, but I may add some different colors later on similar to the path on the right. The path will be leading to the barracks entry and the edge I made with wedge plates just to show the layers of dirt. The freeform on the right side on the other hand is completely different. 
I used a common snot technique over here with dark tan as a cross section of the dirt all around and added a few leaves just to mix it up. Covering the right side is something I wanted to do for a long time, that is mixing grass stems with these big leaf pieces. It was a lot of hard work to put it together since the stems are placed two plates below the level of green wedges and there was really tight in there, but the end result is very pleasing. I will add some more details here for sure in the later part of the build, but for now I have a nice base to work on. In the middle I left a brown 4x4 square where I will place a tree. For now it's just a small placeholder using a minifigure suit, but I will definitely expand on it later on. For now I'm happy of how the base is looking. Now the next step will be finishing the bushes on the left side and start making the buildings. And the plan is that on the left side I will have a simple wall, probably with some wooden hoardings on the top. The middle part will host a watchtower, but I'm not quite sure yet how tall it will be and how will it be finished from the top. It can be either a flat balcony or a close one with a roof. What do you think is the better option? And finally the main building will be here on the right and will be a place where the soldiers sleep and keep all their belongings. The plan is to make the bottom with stone, that is with a bunch of grey parts, and the top will be made as a half timbered wall with a sloping roof on it. And since I probably couldn't sleep if I didn't, I will add the interior to the barracks just to see what's going on on the inside. Ok guys, that is the plan. The only thing now is to build it all. I haven't made a castle team build for a while, so this is going to be pure pleasure for me. Let me know how do you like the current progress I've made, and if you have some ideas, write them down in the comment section below. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode and subscribe to the channel to make sure you won't miss the next episode of this series and all the other mocks I will be making in the future. And until then, stay safe and keep it brickin'.